What's up, sports fans? It's your man D back speaking my sports talk. Alright, check it out. Keith Thurman. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm getting ready to bother with Keith Thurman today, man. Keith one time Thurman. Bang it again. <laughs> Hey, man, what's with this guy, Keith Thurman? Okay, look. I understand that at one point in boxing, you were the guy. You know, I get it, Keith Thurman. But as of right now, you're not the guy. And, he, he, you know, he appears to be going right back after all of the guys. But you lost. Now, let's analyze this. You lost to Manny Pacquiao. Sean Porter lost to Errol Spence. Sean Porter, he went and fought off for Sebastian Formella. It's not a marquee name. But Thurman, you're doing nothing but going after like all the marquee names. You want the rematch with Pacquiao. You all of a sudden, after six years, now you want to fight Errol Spence. Tell him what he need to do if he want anything on his legs. Now you go up into the mountains, play your flute, cut all your damn hair off, and come back. Talking about a fight with Crawford. You know? Dropping your price. Man, you're desperate right now. And that's the thing with Keith Thurman is desperate right now. I know that Keith Thurman fans don't like to hear it, but I mean, let's think about it, man. Keith Thurman came off that tumultuous fight with Jose Cito Lopez. Remember, he was on injury. He was on hiatus for a while. Okay? And I'm not saying that the injury wasn't, you know, official. Yeah, he had an injury. But he was on injury for a while. Comes back to fight Jose Cito Lopez. And, you know, again, Jose Cito didn't make it easy. At one point, he almost had Thurman out of there. You know? He almost had Thurman gone, done with. But Thurman came back. He came back on Jose Cito Lopez, as he should have. And ended up winning that fight. But that was what we've seen of Keith Thurman. That was the first that we've seen of him since he returned. A rough, tumultuous fight with Jose Cito Lopez. And then he goes in to fight Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Now, Pacquiao put it on Keith. And he put it on Keith Thurman early. He put it on Keith Thurman early. Early and often. You know, and that was a tough fight for Keith Thurman. And one that if he was Keith one time Thurman, not as he is now, the way I call him Keith once upon a time Thurman, I think that, you know, first and foremost, he wouldn't have gotten knocked down. And right off the bat, you think if Keith Thurman didn't sustain that knockdown, we might be seeing a different story because it was a, a close fight. But he did get knocked down, put right on the canvas by Manny Pac Man Pacquiao. Okay? And not only that, they talk about, uh, you know, how close the fight and Keith was coming on. Hey, look at that. Just take a look at that. For all of you people that don't think Manny Pacquiao was putting it on Keith Thurman, I want you to look at that. That's not sweat flying. He was knocking the blood out of Keith Thurman. Listen, man, the right man won that fight. Manny Pacquiao won that fight. But Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman... Now, all of a sudden, he wants to get in the ring with Terrence Bud Crawford. Keith Thurman could be a repeat of what we saw with Kel Brook, but I don't think that Keith Thurman is that far gone. Um, I do believe that he'll put up a much better fight with Keith with, than Kel Brook did. But, man, will we see a fight like this? Keith one time once upon a time Thurman as I call him versus Terrence Crawford I think Keith Thurman is desperate right now guys you know he's got to get something but 
Keith, you know, you might want to consider moving up the line. Not really moving up the line, but fighting somebody a little bit further down. I mean, you're going for the champions, and Thurman, all of these champions are busy. Busy with more important fights than you at this point. And you have no belts. You have no leverage anymore, Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman, I think he values himself more than the other fighters in the sport of boxing does. You know? And I think that's what Keith Thurman's problem is. Um, he's going to have to take another fight. I mean, you know, look. Keith Thurman versus your Dennis Yugos. Right? Then he captures that. So he puts himself right in line for something. But just to sit here and argue and yell for Pacquiao and Crawford and Spence and Spence, I mean, and Crawford, Thurman, that ain't gonna cut it, man. And you're probably not gonna get the Crawford fight because there's too many things in line, too many things in front of him, too many fights, in my opinion, that's a better fight than you are. Um, and it just appears to me at this point, Keith Thurman, he's begging, man. He's begging to get something done. Hey, man, I can't blame him. This guy's got to make that money. He probably don't have a lot going on right now. So, But, again, it was Pacquiao rematch clamoring on about that. And then he starts saying how Spence needs him for his, you know, legacy. He needs to fight like him. But, you know, not really far-fetched. Having a Keith Thurman on his resume would be really good. But he don't need Keith, you know having a name like that on his resume would be good, but he doesn't need Keith Thurman. So then he knows Spence is not going to entertain him, and he starts in on Terrence Crawford now. You know, uh, if Terrence Crawford fought Keith Thurman, I would actually accept that. <clears throat> so I will say that, guys. If Terrence Crawford fought Keith Thurman, I would accept that. However, Keith Thurman, get your ass in line. That's my thing. And the way I see it, Keith Thurman is begging, and, I, and that's why I find it funny, and that's why I, I made this, you know, funny thumbnail for everyone, because it's like, man, please help me, like, Keith, help yourself, go fight somebody else, wait for one of these champions to call you out, because you calling champions out, or you were playing the games, or perceivably all the games that you were playing, I don't think a lot of these guys are interested in fighting you, Manny Pacquiao, already said, you know, Spence over Crawford because he feels like Spence is slower. You know, what have you. Fine. And Manny Pacquiao didn't even mention you. Terrence Crawford hasn't mentioned you. And Errol Spence already told you flat out no. So you're in a position where you're desperate, Keith Thurman. And you need to take that desperation out on somebody else in the ring. Because it's not going to be one of those champions. Manny Pacquiao's probably going to fight Conor McGregor. Fight with Spence is dangerous. Fight with Connor is not. Fight with Spence is a lot less money. Fight with Connor is a lot more money. Tell you one thing, Keith Thurman. Maybe you should have your Dennis Ugas in your sights. Your Dennis Ugas. Remember I said that. Be a perfect time for him to set that fight up. Manny Pacquiao have to vacate that belt. Keith Thurman set up a fight with the Dennis Ugas right now. By the time the fight roll around, Keith Thurman, it could be you and your Dennis Ugas for the WBA title. Something to think about. And y'all know how I always in this thing. For the love of sports, let's talk about it. Peace. Came all again, got